Hello again, my name is Gabe Zolner. This is the 3rd of April, 2018. One of the cub reporters, a good friend of mine up in the Bay Area, he's put together uh, what he believes uh, took place by the YouTube facility in Northern California, San Bruno, California. And what he's uh, speculated is, to me, a very viable solution to the problem that took place. According to what's reported, the shooter, Yvonne Perez, a woman, she actually committed suicide, from what I read a moment ago on one of the articles posted by Fox News. And prior to having done so, she was able to receive access to the facility. And YouTube, like Google, they're pretty much a fortress. You don't just come and go. They have guards at the entrances. I'm sure they have metal detectors. So it's quite possible that Evan Perez was an employee. And again, this is just simply pure speculation. But if you follow the pieces of the puzzle, it seems to make an awful lot of sense based on who was targeted, who was in critical condition, and who has also been shot. What's been reported is that there's a male that was shot in the head. He was probably the target of Ivan Perez's rage. You know, there's an old saying, there's nothing worse than a woman that's been scorned. It also explains how she was able to get a gun on campus because, again, she probably came in through an employee entrance. She's probably an employee. And this is one of the typical scenarios that take place in a lot of businesses where people that work there get involved with one another and they end up leaving their spouses for the other. We'll see if that plays out the way this cub reporter believes it to have occurred. I'm inclined to agree with him. There's no way that just anybody can go onto the campus with a gun. Unless, again, you're an employee and you're coming in through an employee entrance where they probably don't have any kind of security based on employees having employee badges or being recognized by whoever is guarding that particular entrance. We'll see how this thing unfolds. But this is probably what it was, which is what he speculates, what he speculated to be, a simple love triangle. We'll see. As no events unfold, based on whatever I come across or what my cub reporter comes across, we'll be certain to update you. Thanks for listening. Let me know what you think. You know what the cub reporter thinks. And you got a good idea as to what I think, don't you?